Welcome back. They say the key to a long and healthy life is a balanced diet and, of course, exercise. But as we get older, the back hurts, the knees crack. We need to be a little more cautious about just how hard we're working out our bodies. And here to demonstrate and talk about the proper exercises to follow to strengthen and improve our lives is John Sataris. He's the founder of Sataris Fitness in New York. Good morning, John. Good morning. And we have a demonstrator with us, one of your trainers, Harvey. We're going to go through some of the exercises first. And we want to talk about balance to start off. That's key in your book. Yes, I, I think balance is one of the most important things, and it's one of the things that I think is actually overlooked. Most of the uh, injuries actually happen um, because of lack of balance. People are actually walking up the stairs or down the stairs. They lose their balance and they fall, and otherwise they have a cracked hip. So most of the problems we see is not actually just the strength or in endurance or flexibility, which are all important, right. but also the actual balance. So if we bring balance and everyone's much more prepared to, if they uh, happen to have a slip, to have a faster reflex mm -hmm. and catch it, and that way they don't have to have the uh, repercussions. Um, I, I like that you said Harvey is our trainer, but he's actually one of the members, but he looks so good. He looks like Brad Pitt, yes. this guy. We want but, to take him through some of the exercises here, Harvey, because you have sure. the dumbbells in your hand. They're just seven and a half, John. That's all you need. Seven and a half. Actually, even lighter. What we recommend is everyone usually does a, a set without any weight just to get blood in circulation. So if you're doing biceps, just do it with your arms. Kind uh, of even, warm up. Yeah, warm up. Well, actually, the, the protocol is even professional bodybuilders use a lighter weight for the first set to um, warm up. So it's relative on that scale. So mm -hmm. we, if we actually um, do just the arm uh, weight, your just your body weight, that's fine. And then, yeah, Harvey's using seven and a half. I wanted to give him 20, but I, I knew. <laughs> we'll save that. Yes. But he's just doing a simple bicep curl Simple here. bicep curl. My, my philosophy is when you get older you know there's so many exercises out there that try to make it so complicated and I like to talk about keep it safe right and keep it simple you know so if we have so many exercises and we have like 10 exercises and it only encompasses like one or two body parts that's not good enough so if we have one simple exercise for each muscle group you cover your ground so you cover your basis and we know that your uh, you know each muscles and is healthy because has blood and oxygen in there so this one is a very simple so um, it's just bicep curl. getting the blood flow and work mm -hmm. in the biceps here, but you also say when it comes to seniors, bone density bone is important. Density, we yes. tend to overlook that. Absolutely. What are some of the exercises you recommend to kind of keep that going and make sure you're uh, sure. in the right what, spot? What I recommend is actual functional squats. Um, okay. So you would have a chair, simply would have a chair here. We don't have a chair in place, but Harvey, you can put the weights down. And um, we can do a modified squat. So okay. simply just a few inches down. And Harvey did. So he's going well, all the way, of course. A few inches. Wow. Harvey's showing <laughs> off here. He likes to show off. <laughs> <laughs> He was prepping all morning, so this is, comes easy to him. Um, so what he's doing is an actual squat. Mm -hmm. uh, I recommend for beginners that you just go about a few inches down. Not and too few, far down. Not too far down. So all you're doing is uh, creating a gravitational pull over the joint. So he has his hips over his knees and his knees over his ankles. And so whenever you have pressure on a straight line that uh, impacts it, you have something called the, the process of necrosis. It actually, um, it's a crushing of the bone for a microsecond, hmm. and it actually makes it packed and, and dense. So this is key for uh, bone density. So any Anytime we can do functional exercises that it, uh, has it on a straight line over the gravitational pull, it's sure to get the the uh, bone density in place. And then we're working backwards a little bit. You have yes. a very simple warm-up that you suggest for people just to get the blood flowing. And this is something you can take 10 minutes out of your day to oh, do. Oh, sure. So I, I like to start off with first the upper body, and that would be some arm circles forward. Well, I can do that today, uh, even in the heels. Yes. Not, you know. Have fun. Harvey again showing off yes, with the showing off. circles. You know, it comes easy to <laughs> and Harvey then we'll reverse it. Now, mind you that I, I always like to move the body through, uh, move into the range of comfort. Mm -hmm. So if you feel any pinching, uh, it's no uh, reason to actually strain the muscle and work through it. Just want to relax the muscle, get blood flow in there. So what you're simply getting mm -hmm. is a, a light um, temperature, 101 degrees. It's usually a light sweat and it's the proper temperature to warm up the muscles. So now he's going forward. Right. Now we can go a little twist to the side. And John, I was going to ask you, you know, a lot of people as they get older, they have the injuries. There's yes. always something you have to modify it with. Mm -hmm. Are these safe for people that may have some back yes. knee injuries? Yes, these are absolutely safe. Um, they're very, very clean cut. Well, that means straight lines, nothing complicated. They're uh, one exercise at a time. M many of the exercises are, uh, people do today on TV and all those infomercials, and they're doing what they call compounded movements, mm -hmm. two or three movements at once. It's like juggling and running at the same time. So it throws you <laughs> Walking off. Walking into a gum. Yes. I have a problem with that, I know. So <laughs> these are very safe. What we've noticed is uh, they're a standardized exercise that it, uh, will be limited to risk of injury across the board. So we've mm -hmm. chosen the, sa the safest one for each one, and that would be a bicep curl. The other one would be a functional squat. So mind you, if, even if you're just doing two or three inches, that's fine. And it gets well, seniors moving for the summer. Yes, it gets 
There you go. Yes. Harvey proved that. John Sateris, thank you so much thank for you. joining us. Some great advice there. Thanks for having All me. All right. Now we're going to head across the street to check in with Lester Holt to find out what's coming up on weekend today at 9 a.m. Good morning, Lester.